Hey guys, what's up? It's your boy Ruben, also known as Ruben the Hog now. Yes, I have changed my name from what my channel name used to be because originally it was MMPR Toys 2, but then I remembered that might be the reason why my very first channel got ever so shut down. So. Yeah, it's Ruben the Hog now. But if that fails, I'll switch back to the way it was. Let me know in the comments below if you like that name. Uh, anyway, today we're going to be reviewing some Super Sentai items. Now, I have already gone over the Dawn Blaster. Or I've already gone over... Dawn Blaster. Um, but what I have not gone over is my Zen Kyger stuff. And my Go Onger stuff. And my Go Kyger stuff. Yes, today we have a lot of Sentai items, so let's get cracking at it. Because, you know, the Kraken from Ben 10. Yeah, guys, know what I mean. For any Ben 10 uh, viewers in the audience, you guys would know what I was referencing there when I said, let's get cracking at it. So, uh, for any Ben 10 uh, members in here, you guys know what I mean by Kraken. Anyway, uh, hang on, I gotta get one thing prepared. I'm always forgetful and forget to prepare my stuff. Except the same kind of stuff that I did prepare. I will go over why I might not be doing more go on your videos anymore. I mean, I only did one go on your video, and that video was blowing up crazy until I had to forcefully restart my whole phone. And now, unfortunately, that video is gone, so it will be coming back. It was the same thumbnail. Just gotta let my brother do it. I'll explain it later, but anyway, um... Okay, let's see. That time. Oh, I forgot something. Okay. Just get them up here. One minute. And there we go. All right, everything's prepped now. Let's get to it. All right, first, Zenkaiger. So we're going to go with, actually, we'll go as my favorite. Do my least favorite. I have not seen Zenkaiger, but I have seen some episode reviews. And spoiler alert, Yellow is definitely my least favorite out of the whole team. I do like the fact that all the other four members are robots. Keep the noise rather. Sorry. And that uh, Zenkaiser is the only human on the team. I actually do like that. Anyway, uh, Majin. As you can see, she has not suffered any paint damage whatsoever. That is because I rarely use her. Now, for those that are wondering, is she the same size as the DX? 
I, I know uh, some American people are wondering this. And they're also wondering, are we going to get Zenkaiger as a Power Rangers adaptation? We don't know yet. We don't know how Power Rangers is going to go after Cosmic Fury. We just don't know. But no, she is not the same height, unfortunately, to her DX counterparts. Now, you may be asking yourself, but what about a lightning collection? She's got to be the same height as those, right? Kind of. These are four inches, so she's only just two inches shorter, but almost the same height. Now, what about a five inch? That is actually a good question. She is actually just a head shorter than the five inch figure. So, articulation wise, let's get her accessory uh, her hand. So, her head can rotate a full 360 degrees. So, can her. Well, her arm. I just popped straight off. Her arms cannot rotate a full 360 or a full. 360 degrees rotation because of this. Now, if I did remove it, it would uh, be able to rotate all the way around. Oh, uh, guys, leave a comment down below if you like my beard. Give it a name, too. Give it a name. Like, Beardy. I know Hobby Dad had a beard once. Anyway, uh, move this wing for a gooder look. Elbow bends and can bend all the way back. For what reason? I don't know. Um, it's the same on this side too. Move her arms out of the way and move this crotch a lot out of the way. Legs can kick up all the way. Oh no, I'm messing up the backpack. Uh, can kick back all the way back. If I didn't already say back. Um, single joint knee. Oh, whoa, that's pretty deep. All right. Her only accessory. Does. This is a really accessory. I mean, this was separate in packaging, so unless you count this an accessory, her weapon is her only accessory. Alright, so you already saw how she holds it, but for those that didn't, and just skip to this part already, I know you do that. Um, you just plug it in her hand. You just plug it in. That's it. Alright. Transformation. So first, remove the back piece. It's not kibble. It never showed up in the show. So it's not kibble. Remove her head. Off with her head. <laughs> Sorry about that, Bruno. I copied. I copied that off of you. Oh, anyone? Leave some good coffee suggestions down in the comments. I've actually been wanting to try coffee for a while. Anyway, uh, rip her torso off, and now lower the feet. If your ball joints are just tight enough to where they can move smoothly, that's good enough for you. Or actually, that's very good for you. Because mine, they like to pop off. But here is this. I just connected the two halves. That's all I did. Alright. So I didn't get the uh, legs on camera, but I will get the torso on camera. Yeah. Rotate the arms. 
move the wings out and bend her arm at a 90 degree repeat with the other same side I don't know if I'm doing this correctly but there you go there is that now ah, just simply connect the halves there we go there is that and now for her lower her back half just unfold the legs and There you go. Just, oh, keep the head rotated around like this, and you should be good. I always forget that. Sorry, guys. I always forget that. It's been a while since I played with one of these, okay? It's been a while. And just connect the halves. And here is Zenkai Majin in her dragon form. I like it. All right, so that was Majin. Get these Power Rangers exclusive stuff off of the review station. Now, for her DX counterparts. Zenkai Juan and Zenkai Gaon. They do share parts, so there are going to be some similarities. So, Zenkai Juan. I like him a lot. <laughs> really do. The shield just connects with a clip, and you just plug this into his hand. Nothing special. Uh, there is a, some articulation, surprisingly, for these Kikonoids. So I'm going to remove his sword and his shield, so that way they don't fall out or off. Uh, so the arms can rotate 360 degrees. Same with the head, surprisingly. Now, transformation. Swivel the head. Bring, let's push that down. That is part of the transformation. Hold these feet back. Bring the arms up at a 90 degree angle, of course. Bring the legs like this. Fold the shield. Pretty easy. And there's Zenkai. Oh, wait. <laughs> wait a minute. He is missing a tail. I see you guys typing in the comments saying, Wait, Ruben, wait a minute. You're forgetting his step. He's missing a tail. Frick, I got Kool Aid on my teeth. Anyway, uh, yeah, I know. I missed a step. Uh, <clears throat> got it. There you go. No need to freak out. I realized I was missing a step, okay? No need to freak out. All right, so that is Zenkai Juan in T-Rex mode. Now to my least favorite. <sighs> Zenkai Gao. So, um, he does share the same arm that has the beast head. Does come with a claw. But you can only peg it onto this side. So that's interesting. No head movement whatsoever. Um, fold this down. Oh, wait, I'm for I'm skipping the articulation. Um arms can rotate 360 degrees. Remove this. Get the head pointy thing down. Someone tell me what that 
sitting on the top of his head is is it depressed is it a funny thing i don't know now split him like this that basically just means move this to here bring it down oh uh these these do move on both of them I forgot to mention that bring the legs down and connect this with two clips on the top there you go then kai gaon in lion mode now for megazord mode sorry i just got a notification no. remove this fold this up and fold it down fold this leg up and rotate it to here then bring the legs together bring them up fold these in and then I I open the mouth just to get a little grip but bring this whole thing down and fold out the leg and there you go but to be more show accurate we will fold it up just to be show accurate here now uh, remove the shield and remove the tail rotate Zenkai Juan's head to the side Rotate his symbol up. Bring this here and rotate this here. Oh. And he holds the electronics. Susan, please don't copyright me for this music. I'm not sure that's the person I want you to. Let me know in the comments down below. There we go. Confirmed I didn't get copyrighted for it, so it's probably not copyrighted. Pull down the legs. Bring these out. And bam. Uh, Alright, claw. I don't know where you put it. It doesn't show any directions. You can just clip it onto the back. Um, fold this out and clip it on. And just use the bigger part and stick the sword in there. There you go. Then kaiju on. It's Zenkai, Zenkaio. All right. Right now, time, so I won't be able to show all of the Ranger keys today, but I will make a separate video showing them. Oh, all right. So, grab our Gokai Cellar on and off switch on the back. Love that sound. Now, let's place our. Gokai Silver Key in here. Gokai Change. What? Did, did it? I... Gokai Change. There we go. Sorry about that little glitch there. I don't know what went on there <laughs> sorry about that um to release the key you just press this little see-through button oh. it comes out pretty fast so you gotta be quick um we will use our go say blue key okay for a moment there i buy paint chipped i don't like my toys paint chipping especially from when they're japan so just stick this in here, and there we go. There we go. Press go see nice head. This is a six ranger morpher, so I'll say go see nice. But it's basically just saying go sager. Bam! That came out hard. And we will use our go on yellow key. 
I will show one extra feature. I will be able to show a code, actually, considering the time we have. You just push the keys in. You don't need to see that. Anyway, press number five on the keypad. Again, six ranger marker. I was going to say the six rangers. Alright, so what we need. We need our six ranger key in here. This thing can operate without a key in it. I'll prove that soon. Alright, so now that you have your six ranger key, just press this button to make it show accurate. Um, we will use our go on red key. Because I don't have any other red keys right now. Little key slot at the bottom. And. Doesn't matter what key you use. Doesn't even matter if you use the anchor key. Alright. There is that. Alright. Press go okay, Silver's head twice. Four, two, two. Um, press go to the next head. Enter. There's that, and now to go on to toys. So, not going to go over much detail. Transformers and Power Rangers reviews has already gone over the detail, so I don't need to. I will leave a link in the description to that video for Engine L, so you can go watch it yourselves. But pull out, push in. Bring out the arms. Oh, one thing that my engine soul can't do, or, or engine cell, it can't do the sounds. I need to replace the batteries in this thing. Figured I mentioned that, so be aware if you get this used off of eBay, the batteries for the engine soul or engine cell might be dead. I did not read the disclaimer, so. I am unfortunately one one of the unlucky people that got a dead one. But lucky enough, the batteries that it requires are easy enough to buy off of Amazon, so I am spared. Which is actually the same type of batteries that this thing takes. <laughs> MR44. And thank you, Javi, for mentioning that. I never would have been able to figure it out. He mentions it in his MP44 and uh, these floors Megatron review. Pretty unfeeling. Slide. <sighs> Slide. Bring this up. Reveal the head. And there you have Engine O from Engine Sentai Go Onger. Uh. All right, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Please leave a like, share, subscribe. Oh, before I go, review on Figma Ram. Is it Ram or Rom? Her name is spelled R A M. Leave a comment down below if you know how it's spelled. Um, yeah. Also, YouTube has this stupid thing now where if you make your videos for kids, your comments are disabled. And if you make them not for kids, your comments are turned on. What the heck, YouTube? Anyway, like, share.